We're continuing in Shana Kudin, Perk A. The Nimzo. Shiesh kan gimel mine oros. Turns out that there are three different types of oros that we're speaking about. Hechad, who are rishon shulakulam in Nikra Kudin, Kanal. The first one is or rishon, which is called a Kudin, which is the or that came out of the path the first time. Habeis who are shimo shanishon is that or shabad derech yasha. And the second type of or is a rishimo. Uh, an imprint that was left from this type of or, this or Yashav came out of that, the Hugachmen. Gimel, who or Abba, Derech Aliyas Asfirs. Shaz, who or the Ahorai, Shudim. And then the third one is light that comes when the spheres are going back up into the path, and the light that comes down at that time is called Din. Is a type of is a type of Din. It's it's Sug is a type of um, it's light is a type of Din. It's not a, a, an or of Rachman. Vine, bevo ha'or ha'gimel hazeh, shudin. Now, when this third, come, this third light comes down uh, from the peh, from inside, from Adam Kadma, comes down through the spheres, and this type of light is din, hugeh ba'or rishimo ha'nisha shu Rachman. It hits the or rishimo, it hits the imprint of the, of the or ha'rachman that was left from the, uh, from the original light, and then the two lights hit each other, the light that's coming down from the Matsyo and the light that's left, uh, that's left behind, the Rishima, they hit each other. Because the two opposites. Because one is Oyashar, which is Rachman, and one is Ochozer and Din. And this one, meaning the Orishimo, is the desire to go up. There is a desire to go up. So, Pishen Olama, Mishim calls the Chavzo, the Shechish Kogu, the Dabak, the Kabu Men. Even though it doesn't actually go up, its desire is to go up. So, here we have a few very important and difficult points. One is we seem to be sometimes referring, here we say that the Or Yasha is the Or that goes out of the path and down, and the Or Hose is the Or that goes back into the path. And at this point, we seem to be saying the opposite. At this point, we seem to be saying that the Orishimo, which is a type of Or, Yosha, which is Or that comes out of the pet and it seems to be going down, now has a desire to go back up into the pet. And that would apparently be what we, what we decide, what we explained Or Hoser to be. Or Hoser to be the light that's going back into the pet. So, um, the answer to this, the explanation for this, is really that Or Yosha and Or Hoser is really the Hashpa from the Matsya, from the Adam Kadma, that's coming down into the uh, into the lower lower spheres, into the spheres of, of the Pet, or the Rishimos of the Kiv. The difference is that Or Yasha, there's always there's always light coming from the there's always light coming from the Adam Kadma. Though sometimes the light that comes from the Adam Kadma is coming through a weak connection or through a bad connection, and that's when the spheres are turning, the spheres themselves are turning to go back into the Pet, the light that's coming out of the Pet to be Mashkia to the to the Netzalim is a type of light that's coming through Din because coming through all the Harayim since all the spheres are facing up to go back into the path and our Harayim is facing back down when the Or comes out of the Matsya from the Adam Kadmon down into the Bria into the Netzalim it comes past and it passes through the or the Harayim of the uh, of the uh, of all the spheres that's why the Or that comes out of Adam Kadmon when the spheres are coming up into the path is called or hosel. And the um, the or that's coming out of Adam Kadmon when the spheres are coming down, that's called Oryasha. So this is um, this ex this explains why we're calling here the Oryasha, the Rishimo, which is a type of Oryasha, we're calling it um, we're, we're we're terming that it has a desire, we're saying telling that it has a desire to go back up into the path. And that would seem to be only shaykh by Orchoser. We said Orchoser, its inyan is to be, to be, uh, to go to get shlemus for itself, personal shlemus. Whereas Oryasher is coming to Mashpia, that's the inyan of Oryasher. And here we seem to, to see the opposite. So based on what we explained, that, we're, that Oryasher and Orchoser is not really the Ors themselves of the Akudim. We, you know, we're not defining the Ors themselves of the Akudim, whether they're turning up or turning down. That's not, that's not what is Oryasher and is Orchoser. Yor Yashan itself 
is the oil that's coming from the matil through these spheres. And if these spheres are facing up to go back into the pet, then the oil that comes down from the matil, from Adam Karma, is going to be called or or Hosa, and it's going to be the Duchina's Din. And if the oars are coming down to the pair, if they're coming, if they're coming to uh, out of the pair, and they're coming to the Mashpia, then the oar that comes out of Adam Karmon is or of Rathman. So those are the two types of oars that we have. So now we have a a Batisha, a hitting of of the oars of Rishima. The Rishima is an imprint of the oar Rathman, the original oar that came from Adam Karmon that was Nishba into the spheres. Uh, it left an imprint where it was, and when the uh, the main R goes back into the pet, when the, R, when the spheres themselves start going back into the pet, they leave an imprint of this R, of R Rachman. Now, this R Rachman is going to be hitting up with the R Chosen. The R Rachman, we said, is Hashpa from Adam Kadmon, is, is part of the Hashpa from Adam Kadmon when the Adam Kadmon is Mashpia to the spheres, when the spheres were, were, were intending to be Mashpia down. So, this is a very strong Hashpa from Adam Kadmon that was left. Ashpa uh, 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 of Derech Rachman, and now we're getting Ashpa from Derech uh, from from Bechinas Din, because now the spheres are going back. It's still Ashpa from from Adam Kadmon, but it's Bechinas Din. So this Ashpa from Bechinas Din is being matched with ash, with a previous Ashpa from Bechinas Rachman, which was Rishima, and these two Ashpas are being matched one 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 the next, and they are they make batishas. They hit each other, and they're going to make sparks. We're going to see. They're going to make mitzvahs. That are going to make the gemara keli. They're going to make the finalization of the of the kli. Okay, the or gimel will have to clear it. And the third type of or is or gimel have to clear it. And third type of or desires has a desire to go back down. Mintash inam shavim. Sorry. I'm just going to go back a little bit. Even though the Rishimo we said it doesn't go back up Mamash, even calls the Chetzel of Cheshko the Dabak the Kabbal Mena. Still has a desire to be in the Dabak itself and to be Makabal from, uh, from the original order that's not going back into the thing. Vor Acha Ashlishi, Chavis Lir. And the third type of or wants to wants to go down. So this is the or um, the or choser we said, which is a shpa from the um, from the Nazi. The nimsa shem shavim betiva. Now the or shlishi, which is the or that's now coming down from the Nazi, is hitting against um, against the or sheni, which is the rishima left from the or yosha. Lachem makim bez lachem makim and they hit each other. Kanada ki kol akos for betisha saor zevazem ukasha enum shavim. And then they hit each other. These or the or uh, Rishimo and the or Chosen hit each other. Since they're not uh, since they're not the same type of or, they hit each other and they make um, batishas. They make sparks. As nothing in Tzotzos my or yod shudin vugaru my or Rishimo, and then the Tzotzos fall out from this from this uh, clash of of ours. and these Tzotzos. As not the nitzotzos now or hayyurim shudin, the nitzotzos come out from the or that's coming out, uh, which is din. But who garu me or shimon, and it's worse than or shimon. There is a or there is a or acher revi, and now we have a third type of light, which is nitzotzos. Nitzotzos basically were created from the hitting of the or shimon with the or chosen. He's created the nitzotzos that are going to finalize the kli. Vine hem dalad vine or. Now we have four types of or, which is the oryasha, the rishimo left from the oryasha, the orchoser, and the nitzotos that came about from the hitting of the rishimo with the orchoser. Then so dalad bechinas tamim kudos tagim osios hana, and this is the secret, the union of the four aspects. Of tamim and nakudos tagim osios, the musical notes, the nakudos, the um, the vowels, the crowns on top of the letters, and the letters themselves. Shahayu kulam klulim beila kudim, which were all included in these uh, or sakudim. Vizet prot, and this is their, uh, this is how they match up. This is how the four or types of ors that we mentioned before match up to tamim, um, to tanta, tamim nakudos tagim osios. Horishon, Tam Dorishon is Tam Dorishon that came out of the pair 
the first light that came out of the Paya down up, up to the Chazot of, of, of the Tibur of Adam, Adam Tadmon is, uh, is called Tan. Noach Aram Nikudos. When Noach Aram, when the Or starts turning back to go back into the Paya, that's already Nikudos. Can Nikudos have all the Mechinas Din? Because Nikudos are always Mechinas Din. That's the general principle. Mechinas Din we're going to see in a couple places. That Nikudos is Mechinas Din. Vor Rishimo Tagging. And Or is uh, is tag on top of those, the crowns on top of those. Yes. Vor Nitzotos Hanoflos Aidea Kos Oros Shal Nikudos Vatagim Zevazakinizka. Who owes this? Hashem Mehem Nasa Bechinas Afir. And the Or, the light of the Nitzotos sparks that fell through the hitting of the lights, from the hitting of the Nikudos, which was Orchoza, and the Tagim, which was the Rishimo Zevazah, they hit each other. That uh, this made the Nitzotos, which is the Bechina of Osios, when we relate the main four Oros of Olam Akudim to the four Bechinas Tata. And, um, and from these Nitzotos, the, the finalization of the Kli is going to be created. The clue is going to be finalized for these new choices. Matsati Kosov. I found written. Afal pi shil el biyano shein ba olam hakudi mark within his kliyachal. The mikanya ayos lekol or kliyachal. So above it said, we said that all makudim is only one within his kli. And here we seem to see that there are many kli kelim. There are many new choices. There are many. Each sphere seems to be leaving a kli. I'm a Jewish matter of matter that explains each of them. It's a different, uh, we're not going to learn about it. It's an Yitzchayim, it explains the answer to this problem. Vrein Nisbar. Vrein Nisbar. Vrein Nisbar. Vrein Nisbar. Vrein Nisbar. Vrein Nisbar. And now we explained already how the Kli is finalized through the, uh, the hitting of the, uh, of the Or Harishimo with the Or Chosen. Making the sparks and the sparks going to the Kli. Now, now it seems that I heard this is Chaim Vital speaking. All the, everything we learn here in the Chaim is um, is Darizan. But now Chaim is like uh, putting in his own his own words because he, he has to tell you that he apparently that he thinks that he heard from from the Rav from uh, from the from the Rizal. So new name is Daiti Shemati I I think that I heard, or it seems that according to the way I understand or remember, that um, I heard from my Rebbe, the Rizal, there was already Kilim before the Nitzotos came out in the Oman Kudim. Because we said that it was the Ora Avagas, the thicker type of Ora that wasn't able to go back into the pad, that was left behind, and that was the cave. So there already was a Bechina of Kli, even before the sparks came out, even before the Or Rishimo hit the Or Chosim. Just that these sparks that came about through the hitting of the Rishimo with the Or Chosim joined up with the Rishimo of the, uh, uh, joined up with the Or Avagas, which is the real, um, the body of the Kli. And it's kind of like the sparks that uh, later on we're going to see when we're going to speak about the Nefila of the Shriya. So we're going to see that each one of the kin that, that went down into the lower lower worlds had, that broke and went down to the lower worlds, had, went down with an um, Rapa Hintzotzen, uh, 288 sparks. These sparks gave them chiyus, gave them life, uh, a certain type of life that en enables them to continue to exist. So, so too here, it really the body of the kli is the aura hava, I guess, and the, uh, the the lower type of aura that wasn't able to go back into the pair that we spoke about before, and the the life force of the kli, or a certain aspect of the life force of the kli, is going to be these nitzotos that are really like the finalization of the kli. Because everything in the world has, at least in our physical world, has a life force. There's no such thing as um, as an object without uh, rapach nitzotos. If it, uh, it wouldn't uh, wouldn't really be able to exist properly. This is a, a, for, as a general rule. And uh, everything when the rapa, when the nitzotos go up out of the item. So Rambam says in Kutei Lachos speaks about this idea that the uh, the object will cease to exist or will break. It won't be a useful a useful item anymore. Um, this is because 
the, uh, the whole purpose of our world, the whole purpose of our existence, at least at this point in time, is to be mevad the nitzotos, to lift up the nitzotos that, uh, that fell down to this world from the Shri Sakim, from every Avera that a person does. When a person does an Avera, what he does is he takes holy sparks of, of Neshama, of Kedusha, uh, and he takes aspects of his own Neshama or other parts of, uh, of, uh, of other types of Neshamas and he puts them into, down into this physical world. Now, when he does this, it makes it very difficult, and a person, we have to afterwards rectify that by doing mitzvahs with items. And by doing mitzvahs, we, 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 what we do is we, we release the, the nitzotos that are brought into this world uh, improperly, and we release them and we let them go back into their place, into the upper, upper realms, and it perfects the upper realms, because the upper realms are lacking these sparks, so to speak, and these sparks have been stolen, in a sense, uh, by, by Averas and by other things, uh, and they've been brought into this physical world when, uh, when we do Averas. And also, when Hashem created the world, Hashem made, we're going to learn, um, we're going to learn soon about this, uh, this concept, this idea, that Hashem created the world imperfect. He created the world with some of the sparks of Kedusha that are necessary for the perfection of the upper worlds and for the, uh, for the influence of, of, good, of goodness and, 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 uh, and, and light to come into this world. He specifically wanted that it should be down in a lower world and that we should have our job, uh, we should have a job of fixing those lower worlds and bringing the sparks that were trapped in the lower worlds and bringing them up. This is Adam Rishon's job uh, to do by watching the garden, by davening, he was able to lift up the uh, he, was, he was able to lift up the nitzotos, but he didn't do it properly. And instead, he even sinned. He did worse, and he took more nitzotos and uh, and brought them into this world. And now we're left with uh, with a nice big job to do. We're going to learn Bez Hashem uh, in the next chapter. We're actually going to learn about the Shvira, which is the this aspect of Hashem creating the world with um, with a work work for us, with sparks that need to be lifted up. Um, it's kind of like <laughs> it's kind of like going into a room, dropping a lot of money, and then picking it all up. If you don't pick it up, then it's going to be left. Adoration did not not just didn't he pick it up? Didn't he pick up the money that he was supposed to? He dropped even more. And uh, these are money is like sparks of kedusha. Uh, and I mean, just as a marshal, it's not that money is really sparks of kedusha. Although there are sparks of kedusha in everything, and certainly money does sparks of kedusha. Otherwise, uh, the money would have no value. Um, there would be tremendous deflation if the sparks of Kedusha were, were to leave the money and then money would be worth nothing more than paper or maybe less. So, uh, so Adam Rishon did not do his job and Adam Rishon made it even more, more work for us but every time that we do a mitzvah what we're doing is we're releasing sparks of Kedusha that are trapped inside things. As, as I learned you know, the Sefer, so there are, uh, there are Nitzotos that are inside the Sefer that in some aspect I'm, I'm you know, releasing them and letting them come back. And everything that, uh, that a person does, especially, especially, especially in Achila, in eating and in other types of pleasure, the pleasure itself, uh, inside the pleasure itself is the sparks of Kedusha. And this is again. This is ex this explains why people um, people have such a great desire to do avirs, uh, because really inside with the the pleasure that they can get from the avirs, there is there are sparks of kedusha. However, if they take them in the wrong way, if they take them for for bad reasons, the person does avirs, uh, then what happens is he's taking these sparks of kedusha, which are dressed up inside of the um, of the pleasure, and he's bringing them and he's digging them deeper into the into the tumah. When a person does a mitzvah the kedusha, so the sparks of of, uh, of kedusha are released and they go up into the proper place. This is also the Indian of the Brikas and Nanim, why we make special brachas on when we get pleasure, because there's a special aspect of uh, lifting up nitzotos that uh, in general that we that we speak about again. So again, we're probably going to touch upon these topics a lot later, but uh, this just explains what the idea of the rakach nitzotos are, the nitzotos that are in every single kli in the kelim that uh, that were in Siliram that uh, that fell down. And um, and went into the lower worlds. So who could do this? The Rapach Nitzotz Shemishu Bekeim Shalom Anakudim Kamoshi Zvai Lakam Bunkam. And this is like the Rapach Nitzotz that were they were left in the Kelim of Olam Anakudim of the world of Anakudim, as we um, as we'll explain later on in the Shara Rapach Nitzotz. There's a Shara Rabbi Lazer Kirin Zvai Lamalaki Kshaya Ha'or Chozer Ve'Ola Ha'inisha Klim Ve'Bchinas Ha'or Ve'Lagas Shalom. 
And the proof for this, that there already was caving in the previous stages uh, before the mitzvahs came out, or before at least we spoke about the mitzvahs, and the mitzvahs are not the main cleat. The mitzvahs are not sparks, are not vessels. The vessels are not sparks. The, the vessel itself is the, when, when the ore goes back into the pet, it leaves an or avagas, a more, uh, a more uh, physical, a more dark type of light. That is the vessel itself, uh, the goof of the vessel. Uh, that's the way I like to be mechalakid. And here it's like the, the, the sparks, a certain type of neshama, not the real neshama, but a certain type of chus of, of, the, of the vessel that's left. Um, that's the rapach mix. So you could imagine it kind of like a watch on a battery, where the watch is the is the clear itself, but it needs a battery in order to run. And that battery actually gives the chus to the to the object, and that battery is like the rapach mix. So when that battery dies, so then the the watch becomes um, becomes not usable unless you either get a uh, replaced battery or um, something else like that. So that's the looking of rapach mix.